Elixir is a dynamic functional programming language designed for building scalable and maintainable applications. In the Stack Overflow developer survey for the most loved language, Elixir has sat in the top four since its debut in 2021. But is it worth spending time and effort learning this language for yourself? To help you make that decision, we're going to look at some of the reasons why you may want to learn Elixir as your next programming language. As much as I like writing code, I also like earning money to live comfortably. Fortunately for myself, these two requirements don't have to conflict. And making the most amount of money by spending the least amount of time is an example of good optimization. Therefore, learning a language that pays well is one of the best ways to earn more money by doing less. This is where Elixir comes in. Elixir and its cousin Erlang are currently two of the highest paid languages out there, according to the Stack Overflow developer survey. The reason they're paid so well is because of the benefits these languages provide to many businesses. These benefits include stability across distributed systems, fault tolerance with self-healing processes, and horizontal scalability, which don't always come for free in other languages. So if you're looking to earn the most amount of money you can whilst writing code, then Elixir is going to give you a good chance of finding a well-paid position. Elixir is one of the more unique languages out there. It's a functional programming language, which usually would have most junior devs running for the hills. However, Elixir is different, as it remains easy, accessible, and enjoyable for most developers to work with. Whilst most functional programming languages can feel rather esoteric to learn, Elixir happens to be rather simple in design, removing the need to learn lambda calculus and other mathematical concepts, such as functors, applicatives, and the dreaded monad. This doesn't make Elixir any less functional, however, and it provides a number of features and patterns, such as tail call optimization, self-describing types using atoms, pattern matching, lazy execution, and many others. By learning Elixir, you'll also learn a whole bunch of new programming concepts that you'll struggle to find in more imperative languages, providing you with a greater view of the software development landscape and new techniques in your coding toolbox. I mentioned earlier that Elixir is very similar to Erlang, and that's because they use the same virtual machine under the hood, known as Beam. This allows Elixir to have the same feature set as Erlang, but with one key difference. That difference is the syntax of the language itself. Erlang is incredibly powerful, but it's not the nicest language to write. And yes, that is a dot at the end of each line. Elixir solves this by taking the syntax of Ruby and slapping it onto the Beam VM. What we're left with is a programming language that has the power of Erlang, but with a modern and familiar syntax. So if you've ever wanted to use Erlang, but have been put off by its syntax, then Elixir may be a good choice for you. Whilst learning the syntax of a language is really important, there's more to learn in order to become a good software developer. Navigating what you need to learn whilst also attempting to learn a new language is difficult, and having a resource to help you learn computer science fundamentals is really important. Fortunately, that's where the sponsor of today's video can help. Brilliant.org is not only one of the best ways to learn computer science interactively, but math and data science as well. If you're looking to learn Elixir or any other language, then having a foundational knowledge of computer science will help you succeed. Brilliant is also a great resource for those who know how to code already, but want to learn other subjects such as math or data science. Whatever your goal, Brilliant can support you by providing your own customized learning path. By answering a simple survey, Brilliant will provide you with a suggestion for where to start and how to get to where you want to go. I recently picked up the foundational math course following Brilliant's recommendation, which has helped me to improve my skills beyond just writing code. So to try everything that Brilliant has to offer free for the first 30 days, visit brilliant.org slash dreams of code, or click the link in the description down below. The first 200 to sign up will also get 20% off Brilliant's annual premium subscription. A big thank you to Brilliant for sponsoring this video and supporting the channel. The next reason you may want to learn Elixir is if you're looking to get into full stack web development. Web development is typically dominated by JavaScript-heavy frameworks, such as Next, Nuxt, or SvelteKit. However, you may want to use something other than these three. Fortunately, Elixir provides a server-side, full-stack framework called Phoenix, and it's pretty amazing. Phoenix is inspired by Ruby on Rails, but it goes further beyond what its senpai provides, with notable features being templating, built-in authentication, real-time events, live reloading, and many others. If you're more of a shoot from the hip kind of developer, however, then you don't need to use Phoenix if you don't wish to. Elixir has a number of other packages that you can use by themselves, such as Cowboy, which is a powerful web server, or Ecto, which provides a toolkit for mapping data and interfacing with databases. No matter what you're looking for, there's a good chance there's a package available. 
Which brings me on to my final reason why you may want to learn Elixir. Because Elixir runs on the same VM as Erlang, this means there's a decent library of packages that already exist. This enables you as a developer to interface with many different software and services which other new languages may not support as of yet. Because of this vast library, Elixir also provides a modern package manager called Hex, which as well as managing packages also acts as a centralized repository for package discovery with an easy to use interface, similar to using something such as crates.io for Rust. To complement Hex, Elixir provides a build tool called Mix, which operates similar to NPM with Node or Cargo with Rust. Mix allows developers to easily build, test, and deploy their applications without needing to worry about make files or other complex build systems. In addition to this, Elixir brings many other modern features, such as a built-in test framework, a concurrency model that is second to none, and the much-loved pipe operator. All of this is provided in a language that promotes fault tolerance as one of its core principles, allowing you to build services that fail gracefully and auto heal, saving you from spending time worrying about systems and services going down whilst you're on call. So if you're looking for a language that is functional, modern, and a little unique, then Elixir is a great candidate to choose. If you'd like me to do some more content on Elixir, then please let me know in the comments down below. Otherwise, I wanna give a big shout out to my newest channel members, XTNCTR and DatFam. I also want to thank Brilliant for sponsoring this video. Please do check them out if you're interested using the link down below. Otherwise, a big thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.